What's up, my dudes? Val here. And today, you might see my team and be like, this team looks really weird. Because I have, whenever I streamed the other day, I noticed a lot of you guys are still stuck in story. And you're still struggling to get through a lot of the story missions. So today, I'm going to try to make it easier on you. Uh, you're going to need, the only thing you're going to need to really beat the majority of story, except for the last couple chapters, you, you will need good teams eventually. But, I'll probably say around, like, uh, the second Bleach story is whenever you're going to need a really strong team. But before the second Bleach story, you can probably get by with just Shielder, aka Mash, this unit right here. You can get by with just Shielder and one good damage dealer that adheres to the mechanics of the stage. For the damage dealer I'm going to bring, I'm not going to bring Dark Flower, because I know Dark Flower is very strong. But, I'm going to bring Blood Queen instead. Blood Queen is still very good, but not to the level of Dark Flower, so it doesn't feel so much as cheating. Here's Shielder. What Shielder does is basically just keeps you nice and healthy, heals you up. Really, really, really strong unit. Really good unit. So, um, that's kind of what we're going to do. So, we're going to go here. You can see about here is where I'm pretty sure you're going to get stopped using this strategy. But, in the meantime, you should be able to use just about anything else. Because we're bringing a, uh, because we're bringing Blood Queen, we're just going to do a normal Zombie Town 1, just to give you guys an idea of how this works. We're bringing Blood Queen. I don't think Blood Queen's going to annihilate everything, but we're just going to put three Blood Queens down right away, off rip, and then we're going to put down our Shielder, to give you guys an idea. And I just want to show you guys exactly, Blood Queen might solo annihilate the stage. If she does, then whoopsie doopsie, but you guys will get an idea. Uh, of course, you guys are more than welcome to use your full team, you know, use everything. You don't have to follow what I'm saying exactly. You don't need exactly Blood Queen. You just need anybody that's a good damage, and they're kind of going to take over. So here, we're going to put Blood Queen. We're going to let Blood Queen go here, exactly. Set this Blood Queen to last. We're going to put another Blood Queen right here. Set this one to last, and we'll put another Blood Queen right here to pick up Stragglers. So, now we have our three Blood Queens down. We're just going to not do that. We're going to kick up it up to three times speed, and then we're just going to put down mash and then max mash. And it should be good, I want to say, but we will find out. So now we just go ahead and start maxing mash. This should be good. Uh, this should be fine. We want to spread it out because you can see the stunner enemies do, in fact, they do as advertised, and they do stun you. But you can see here our HP going up up top. And this is kind of how we're going to beat basically everything, is we're just going to let MASH tank it. You just need to buy time for MASH to ramp up with your other units, and like I said, this isn't going to work for everything. Not every stage is going to give you the ability to do this. You're not going to be able to use this for the entire time, but if you're trying to unlock the raids, you don't have friends to run it with, this is kind of a really good strategy to get pretty far in the story before you have to start having an actual team. Before you have to start actually having good setups and a good team to go ahead and out DPS it. This lets you beat out a lot of cheese tricks. Like if you're struggling against like flying units, you're struggling against flyers, and you're not doing very good against them. This will help you go ahead and do that and take care of those. But you can see we're already at 400k. We're at 400k HP right now and the enemies we're looking at have 25k HP. Now, if they do hit us, it will hurt. That's to be sure. But the whole goal is to not let them hit us. So now we have max. Now we have a maxed out mash. With mash maxed out, we can start working on our units. And like I said, I'm pretty sure Blood Queen might actually just solo this, so you guys don't even get to see what I mean. But you will see what I mean in the end, anyways. I'll show you guys what I mean. Um, but mash is just going to be the safety net that's going to go ahead and let us just kind of ignore everything, because we can just use Shielder or mash to go ahead and just kind of beat out everything so here we have blood queens aoe active so now we're going to level up the rest of them and we're going to get their aoe active and we're just going to keep doing this one at a time and just go down the list and just keep this up and it's important to put whoever you're going to have as your main damage on their own lead so they can get some sort of attack boost like if you don't have the attack boost you could end up running into problems like that it could be kind of rough but here we're at 1.47 million health uh, we're doing pretty fine we're just hanging on. I'm pretty sure this boss isn't going to have more than 2 million HP. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. And the boss could have more than 2 million HP, but we will see. And we're almost to the promised land. We're almost there. And we're going to get to see exactly how tanky this boss is. In the meantime, Blood Queen's literally just soloing the stage. So, Blood Queen showcase, everybody. Really, really good LR. You should get her before the Halloween banner leaves. So now we're at 2 million HP, we're on the final wave, and the boss is about to come out. Now when the boss comes out, 
uh, you guys should be able to see what I mean by this strategy is going to help take you through most of the story. Now, eventually, I'm going to let you guys know this right now. Eventually, you do need good damage because the bosses do ramp up a lot. Yeah, you can see he's at 9 million HP. He's probably going to get down pretty low due to the Blood Queens. And we're just going to kind of let this rock. We should be fine. <clears throat> we should be perfectly fine. I don't think the Blood Queens are actually going to be able to kill him. If they do, they might actually. They're, the Blood Queens are kind of just soloing. Uh, but you guys get the idea off this. You just need one strong damage, you need a mash, and then you kind of just beat everything. Now, if you guys are wondering where to get Blood Queen, because she looks so impressive there, uh, you can get Blood Queen from the Halloween banner. Just grind a Halloween event. If you guys don't come to my live streams, if you guys haven't been in my live streams, just know, if I'm live streaming, I will carry you guys through Legend stages. I do think I'm going to live stream again tomorrow, because the first live stream was so successful. I'll carry you in last live stream. I was carrying through uh, Lord Shadow stages, but with Halloween coming to an end, I know a lot of people are going to want to finish the Lord Shadow grind, but with Halloween coming to an end, I am going to be doing grinds. I am going to be doing carries on the Halloween stages because Blood Queen is such a strong unit. Dracula is such a strong unit. Um, Halloween is such a good unit to have. All in all, there's really, really good units on that banner, and I want to make sure everybody gets theirs. Anyways, thank you guys for watching as always. Hopefully this helped you guys out with story. Just use MASH. Like I said, you're eventually going to reach a point where you can't do it anymore. It's probably going to be Soul Hall. Uh, it might even be uh, Chainsaw Man because 9 mil is a little bit beefy for the MASH. But anything before Chainsaw Man should be an absolute breeze using this strategy. Using any strong damage dealer uh, plus MASH should be enough to actually beat just about any stage. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.